One of the most enticing aspects of DSCR loans for investors is the lower documentation, paperwork, and overall hassle when compared to more traditional lending, including conventional and bank options. However, DSCR loans should not be considered no lock loans, and they include a well-thought-out underwriting process and meaningful common-sense documentation requirements as well. DSCR loans can cover both commercial and residential real estate properties. DSCR loans are for business purpose only, meaning that the owner of the property cannot live in the property under any circumstances. These loans are strictly for investment properties when the property is owned and operated for business purposes and rented out for income. Additionally, for DSCR loans for which the purpose is cash out refinance, the use of cash out proceeds may also be used for a business purpose. Commonly, these proceeds are used to further real estate investment or costs related to the borrower's real estate business and strictly can't be used for personal uses, such as paying off personal credit cards or any non-business expense. DSCR loans are primarily based on the property, meaning the lender evaluates and qualifies the deal mostly, but not completely based on the property's investment potential. This is a common misconception where people sometimes that DSCR loans are purely based on an asset. DSCR lenders were one personal credit along with loan to value and DSCR is among the three biggest factors uh, that go into determining what your rating terms will look like. Typically, they will also require three to six months of PITIA reserves and liquid assets. The rest of the documentation and underwriting will be based on the asset, but it's important to remember that qualification isn't 100% based on the property. Your credit and some basic liquid assets do matter. Finally, DSCR loans are for turnkey properties only, meaning any property needing any significant renovations or rehab is not going to qualify, and you will likely need to explore hard money options instead. <clears throat> DSCR loans, not no doc, not ninja loans, one of the commonly agreed upon drivers of the 2008 real estate crash was loans with poor underwriting standards to unqualified borrowers. It was common to see inexperienced borrowers qualify for and amass many loans with almost no money down and exotic loan structures. Further, many qualification standards were low, not requiring the proof of income or much in the way of evaluating whether the borrower was going to be able to pay the loan back. Leases. If the property is leased as a long-term rental, copies of the leases are required to be provided. And they must be in proper order clearly signed with rents and terms fully clarified. One thing to watch out for is when purchasing a property that is currently leased out, things typically run the smoothest when the seller can provide these leases quickly. Overall, DSCR loans are a great product because the documentation requirements are limited and reasonable, Ensuring solid, solid underwriting and protecting against risk and market meltdown will not be a hassle and a nightmare of paperwork. Now, if you're in need of an experienced commercial real estate broker, I can be reached at 281-222-0433. Have a good day.